Okay. Well, you know what? We'll go ahead and get started. I don't want to. I don't want to keep y'all waiting forever because this is going to be a little bit. Um, so we're working on the capture the moment kit from craftycity.com. In fact, when you go to the very first page of the Crafty City website, it's right there. So you guys can just click on it and order it if you haven't ordered it already. Um, these papers are, I mean, amazing. I, I'm not shocked at all. Well, I am shocked that they were so beautiful, but um, because this is the first time I've ever worked with Minte. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. But um, this paper collection is called Life Stories. And um, I don't know who Corolla is, but I need to figure out who these people are, really. And what's really cool is on the opposite side, you have these um, cut aparts. And I meant to get some of these cut already, but I didn't get a chance. If you have one of those scanning cuts, um, I hear that that works really well. I think you can also do this on the silhouette. Um, some of my friends would probably be, um, you know, who are familiar with silhouette and Cricut may know how to do that, but I, I don't, I don't use them that often. I just, I'm old school. I just die cut. Okay. <laughs> oh, you want me to do it a little closer? There you go. Is that not gorgeous? I love, love, love this collection. I mean, when I saw it, I begged her. I was like, can I please have this? It's beautiful. And here are some of the sheets. Now, I've already used up quite a few of them, but basically you're gonna use just a little more than a half a pack of paper. So you can definitely get um, two pages of your camera out of one. At first I was worried that you wouldn't be able to, but you really can. So that is awesome. I love these French doors with the little mailbox slots. Isn't that cool? I love how they have the old little vintage key. Key lock, that's cool. Um, you have like your butcher block table or it could be a wood floor, I'm not really sure. That's really pretty. Ooh, look at these double doors. Gorgeous. Look at that ginormous knocker. Now that's cute. I love the vintage typewriter, the butterflies, the hanging lanterns. Look at that. There's more hanging lanterns, but in the mason jars. Beautiful feathers. Love the bingo pieces. So cute. Here's the typewriter again, but this one is black. I love the vintage clock. I love this beautiful lace doily. Guys, this is not screen vintage. I'm telling you. Love, love. I love all the colors. Oh, look, this is my favorite, the little vintage camera. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started. Oh, wait, there's one more. Hold on, I didn't show you this. Hold on, guys. Oh, my goodness. Hang up on them. <laughs> Okay, so then you have your cut aparts, and this is really cool. So you could actually cut these apart and, and literally put photos inside here if you want to and cut around here. That's probably what I would do. Or, of course, you have your um, three by four cards. So you could either journal on the back of these or put photos, whatever you want to do. But uh, amazingly gorgeous. Love, love, love. Again, my favorite little camera there. That is really cute. I think my mom used to have one of those years and years ago, but it was more of a American, you know, early American style. I don't know. Because she lived in Wisconsin, a lot of colonial stuff. Anyway, isn't it? It is awesome, Melinda. I'm telling you. Okay, so let's get on into the camera. Um, this is a really heavy duty chipboard. I love it. I went ahead and painted around my edges first because I always like to do that. Now, I will tell you this. You do get, you don't have any paint. Oh, here it is. Sorry, guys. Oh, it's right here. Okay, in your kit, you will get a, a matching chalk ink. And this really does work on your chipboard. Um, I just really wanted this green look here, and I might do a little bit of rubbing with this chalk around here, but I don't know. Now, I'll let you know the paint color I used in case you're interested in using this exact color. This is called Jamaica Sea by Folk Art. Again, that's Jamaica Sea. Um, I know they have it at Walmart, so easy to find, and probably Hobby Lobby or Michaels. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> what is with me today? Okay, I apologize. So I thought that, let me explain one thing here to you. If you want to fit um, 
the camera. If you want to cut all the way around on the paper, you will not fit two pieces on one page, okay? So what I did is I went ahead and made square or rectangles, okay? And so basically it's just going to lay right on top here. And I'm not sure, um, I'm probably going to put some bling on these, okay? So that's probably what I'm going to do. So you're going to need 14 of these that are seven and seven eighth inch wide by five and seven eighth inch long. And it is gonna be just a hair longer and wider. But once you use your, this is if you're gonna distress it, okay? If you're gonna distress around the edges, you'll be fine. But if not, then you may need to take another, just a tiny little sliver off the top and off of the right. So you can either do that beforehand or afterwards. That's completely up to you. But you'll need 14 of those for the front and the back. And then for your amazing G45 tags, I just love these. Um, you'll need six, 12 if you wanna double sided, okay? But I didn't wanna do that. I wanted to save some paper so I could do some 12 by 12 layouts because I'm a hoarder. <laughs> I love hoarding gorgeous paper. So I really wanted to do some layouts that I could actually um, hang in my house. So. Um, you're going to need six of these at three and three quarters by seven and seven eighths. And then I just use the We Are Memory Keepers rounded edge and it worked just fine here. So, you know, that's completely up to you. So six or 12. Um, what I'm going to do is either put photos on the back or journal. It's so hard to cover up this paper. I don't even think I'm going to put a photo right here. I don't know. If I do, it's going to be a really small one because I love, love, love this. Okay. So we will go ahead and I've already pre-done several of these because you know we'd be here forever. But let me show you what I did, what I thought would be neat to incorporate the tags in the pages. Okay. So we'll do this camera piece second. Okay. Let's get started with this. Okay, let me put the flowers on the front. So I just wanted to go ahead and leave a little space. You will get a little zig glue pen in here, okay? And you'll have to press down on this several times. And then when you start to see the blue edge here, I don't know if you can see that. Sorry, my camera's like blurry. Um, then you know that your glue is working. And you know who told me that, Debbie? <laughs> I did not know, I was like, this isn't working. And so she told me, she just happened to be on the phone with me while I was doing these. Okay, so this helps me, okay? So what I like to do is just put around these three edges and on the right hand side, I am not going to add my glue, okay? I'm going to grab my tag and have it close to me. I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down. And I did on mine on my front side, okay? Just gonna line this up here. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to slide this underneath. Try not to get it on the glue, okay? This is just so that you will have room for your tag. I know it seems strange that I'm doing this while I'm gluing this down, but it actually allows it to have room here to slide it in and out. I don't know why that works, but it does, okay? And if you miss anything, you can come around. I think I got it pretty good. I burnished it in pretty good. See if I missed anything. Nope. Sorry, I like to really get my edges going. Okay. And then now your little tag's gonna slide in. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and add this on here. Oops, I have this on the front. So I'm just gonna and anytime you feel like it's getting dry, just press down on it again. Almost like a paint pen. Okay. The one time you won't need your glitter glue. <laughs> well, that's completely up to you. You still want to use your art glitter glue, you can't. Okay, burnish that in. And then it just easily slides in here. So, I don't know. I mean, you can incorporate it however you want. I just thought this would be fun to put some ribbons on the end and make it look super shabby. And then I'm gonna go ahead 
And this time for the back piece, hi Jean. Jean is one of my Floridian buddies. And Debbie R. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and lie this down just like this. So this one I'm gluing down all the way, okay? Because you really only need to do it to the front side. Okay, so like I was saying, if you decide that you wanna go ahead and cover this up with paper, you're gonna end up using your whole paper pack, okay? You may need two. I'm just letting you know that now. This was the best way that I could incorporate two um, pages off one sheet of paper, okay? So I hope that makes sense. So now let's get to the fun part. This is going to be our little camera, and we have our wonderful little dome from Prima. And so these are pretty fun. You can put a photo underneath here. You can put some confetti or whatever you wanna do under here. I love this. Now, you all asked me if there were any dies that would work with this. I do know that Prima does have a die and for some odd reason, I cannot find it. Wait, wait, maybe it's here. Okay, here it is. Prima does have a die. Hi, Archana. Hi, Maritza. Hi, Mary Beth. How's everybody doing? Okay, so here is the um, memory hardware. I don't know if they still have these. They probably do. You know, you can always find some more. Archana, do you have any of these? Oh, that's okay. No, the dome actually comes with a kit. But your die, you know, you have to use your own. But I will tell you that I got these cheap little circle dies off Amazon, okay? Um, and I'm, I'm not too fascinated with the stitching, but what I liked was that it had a large circle size on it. Okay, so I'm gonna show that to you in about two seconds here. So first, what I want you to do Okay, and I'm just gonna like do this as an example, okay? I'm not actually going to draw. What I did is I just kind of lined it up on the back and I just held it in place, all right? Cause it is a little 16th of an inch shorter. So I wanna make sure that my circle is cut out in the right spot. What I did was, is I traced around here with a pencil, okay? And then I knew exactly where I needed to line up my circles, okay? And I just basically guesstimated, you know, I just followed my little line here because it actually came to about here, all right? Now my circle die is, hold on, I'm actually gonna have to take this off here real quick. I hope y'all don't mind, but I wanna give you the exact measurement, okay? Because and again, remember, always get out your cheap washi. <laughs> Don't use the good stuff or you're gonna rip your paper, for real. Um, so my first circle die, the largest one, which actually will go over your dome, okay? This one is uh, four and five eighths, okay? So that's the circular diameter, four and five eighths. You probably could go a little bit smaller, um, but it's kind of hard to find one that's exactly that size. Then my next one is four and one eighth, okay? So I hope that helps. And then all I did was interlock them. So then I come out with this little piece, okay? First, what I'm gonna do I'm going to get out my zig pen here. And I'm going to go ahead and attach this. All right. I know that seems strange, but I am. Or you can attach your dome. You could do that too. In fact, I like, I want to attach my dome first. Hold on, guys. Let me try art glitter glue. 
it does dry clear. No, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get out my E6000 and hopefully this is going to work. My E6000 is like 100 years old, so because I don't use it very much because it smells horrible. Oh, hold on. Let me grab a different, different pair of scissors. I don't want to use my fussy cut ones to open glue. Hold on, guys. Not even be able to open it in the same spot. The lid will not come off. Okay, guys, sorry. You probably could use your art glitter glue, but I don't trust it. Hold on, guys. I'm actually putting this on here. I know you can't see me. Hold on. <laughs> How this makes sense. I'm not trying to do too much. Okay. And I'm going to throw this away because it smells horrid. I do not even like using E6000. Only to attach uh, Swarovski crystals. That's it. The only reason why I would ever use this stuff. Okay. And the best part about this is, is when you're putting your dome on, you can put your photo on the back side. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and attach this. And then I'm going to put this on last because just want to make sure. Let me wipe off any excess glue here. Whoops, I'm moving it. All right, guys, let me make sure I have this centered because I moved it. That looks pretty good. It's going to take a minute to dry, but we're going to keep on working anyway. So I'm not worried about it. I'll just re-glue re this. Guys, have y'all ever gotten high off this E6000? I swear that stuff is deadly. It stinks so bad. <laughs> Then we're going to go ahead and lay this right on top. Let me scoot it a little bit. And I'm going to start burnishing it in. Wow, this glue dries pretty fast. I was hoping I'd have a little time to work it. I don't. Maybe right here I can. There we go. The one thing about that Prima Dome um, die, okay, is that this will not go all the way over this bubble, okay? So you would have to have your paper done underneath the dome instead of on top, okay? So that's why I got out my own circle dies and decided to work that way. So that's, that's up to you guys. I have a little under here. Cause I'm going kind of slow. That's right, work it, Linda. We're gonna make this, we're gonna make this work, aren't we? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna grab my art glitter glue real quick just because I can get my tip underneath there. There we go.
Smash that in there. I'm getting a little more. There we go. Now it's coming out. Okay, sorry. Let me grab another wipey. I didn't want to bring out the other one. I got E6000 stuck all over it. Okay. Now this is up to you. You could wrap ribbon around here or you could go ahead and add this little piece in here. Okay. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to line it up. This time I'm going to use the art glitter glue. I'm going to tell you why because it's going to give me a second to move it around. Okay. Um, the zig dries too fast for me to move it. So that's how good that is. <laughs> Some good glue. Okay, there we go. Okay. And just gently press it down, burnish it in. I guess I didn't put enough glue there. Okay. So now I covered up that little area. So I hope that really works. Right? I could definitely use the zig pen for a lot of car projects too. So, okay. So we have that one down. I'm going to let this glue, this uh, glue dry for a minute because I don't want to put any sprinkly stuff in here because as you can see um, my glue has not completely dried yet underneath there. I don't know if y'all can tell but it's it's got to lay there for a few minutes okay. So we're gonna have to come back to that one and I don't want to attach this piece until you know, I have all my, either my photo or whatever I'm going to put underneath here. Let's see what looks better. I kind of thought this was neat. If I put it that way and then kept this on this side because I love the little locket. Or you could do this. Just find your center here. And then you have your can. Oh, yeah, I think I'm going to do that, guys. Mm hmm. Okay, we're going to do it. <laughs> I like the little camera in there. I just can't help it. Okay. So, in the meantime, I'm going to put these guys out of my way. And we're going to go ahead and start decorating. I went and die cut some stuff. I've got out my glue gun. Let's see here. Ooh, but let me go ahead and cut apart some of my stuff first before we actually start decorating. I lied. I'm telling the stories. And I'm going to show you the rest of the pieces of the kit in case you haven't seen um, Archana's share of it or mine. This kit is too yummy not to have, okay? Oops, I did a bad job of that. Hold on, let me try that again. There we go. Hey, Monica, did it snow there? I've heard everybody's been getting snow. Yep, the big guns. Got to get out the glue gun, Linda. We need that today. <laughs> All right, here we go. Boy, what is my problem with my trimming today? I think I, I need to put my glasses on. 
That one was better. Isn't this bingo card the cutest? Okay, I'm just going to keep it real. You know, Vero is an excellent place to go antiquing. Um, all along US 1 and just kind of all over Vero for sure, there are antique stores on every corner, it seems like. So if you like to do antiquing, y'all need to come visit me. <laughs> okay, what is the name of the cutter? Oh, Wanda. This is, this is my best cutter that I've ever had. Um, this is the Martha Stewart cutter. I love it, love it, love it. I got it from Michaels, okay? Let me put these cards over to the side real quick. And, um, okay, so let's get on into, whoa, sorry guys. I just got my blue bean. Here we go, okay. Let's check out the rest of the stuff in this kit. Pull it all out. Sorry for all the wrinkling, crackling noise. I know that's annoying. I hate it when I have to hear it. Okay. So in your kit, you're going to get some Prima flowers. And what I love about these in particular are that they come with a foliage. Okay, then I don't have to die cut a gazillion pieces of foliage. Okay, look at that. Love, love, love. So this all comes in here for you. Nice. All you have to do is just untwist it. And you can say one for each layout that you want to do on your pages, but I'm going to, oops, kind of stuck on there. Okay, so I'm going to put these over here, keep them close to me, and, you know, if you want to use all of this whole bunch together, you can, or separate them out, that's up to you, and then you get all these gorgeous, yummy looking, these look like gardenias, okay, I know I'm not that great with guessing flower names, but to me, these look like gardenias. And then for your other set of flowers, these are from the Wild and Free collection. And this has 24 flowers in here. And I think this comes with leaves too, okay? You don't have to work too hard with die cutting, all right? And then, hold on, let me move this out of the way real quick. You have, I think these are the Prima Twines. All right, so you're going to get some of those. Move that out of the way. You're also going to get these scrap and neck decorative chipboards, and I love these little cameras. And in fact, I'm going to pull these out now, and I'm going to ink them. Let me use this as my little, oh wait, no, I brought this over here. Sorry, I don't want to use my little baggie. I'm going to go ahead and color these now. Okay, I think I'll do these two. This one is called Pastel Brown. I'm not sure if you're going to get exactly Pastel Brown. Um, she may run out of those, but she will definitely give you a coordinating color in your kit, okay? Hi, Cam. Then this one is from my last kit. This one's called Deep Kiss. I don't know. This might be a little too pinky for me. Hold on. I changed my mind. I'm going to use this pastel. Uh, hold on. This one is called Rosy Cheeks. Ooh, I like that one. I'll just get as far over as I can.
So do any of y'all like um, Pitbull and Nacho? I don't even know who Nacho is. I'm not going to lie. But I do know who Pitbull is. They are doing a free concert here in Central Florida for uh, a fallen police officer, I think. That's pretty cool. I don't know how many stars you see actually do free concerts. Just saying. I think that's really awesome. I'm going to go ahead and pop these out. You have to be kind of gentle, guys. Don't manhandle them <laughs> or they will break. I love this pastel brown. It is so pretty. It's like a very light taupe. See, I almost messed that one up. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to put those to the side real quick and let them dry just a smidge. Oh, hold on. This one needs a little more ink. There we go. All right. And then also in your kit, you're going to have one that says Capture the Moment by Scrap and Nick. And I love that it says that because it's obviously, you know, photography themed. And so capture the moment is perfect. I'm thinking, what color should I do this one in? Let me see what my cover page is. Oh, I could do the mint green. I have the Prima uh, Color Philosophy Sea Green. Or sea glass, sorry, not sea green. Here we go. Let's see, whoops. I'm just dropping stuff left and right, guys. Oops, let me move this over here. Oh yeah, the sea green is pretty. And I love that their chipboards are, you know, white. So then you could use any color on top of it and it'll show through, which is nice. Just wanna darken it up a little bit. Tam has got this really awesome project, Tam O'Connell. If you don't follow her on um, Instagram, you need to because, or YouTube, she has the coolest mini albums and she's doing a BTS theme. So if you guys have any teenagers, you know, or young adults at home that are obsessed with BTS, she has a really awesome project coming up. I told my daughter about it, Tam, and she was freaked out. <laughs> That looks really pretty. Okay. And then I saw a die from Echo Park. This one is called the Viewfinder in Ampersand. Okay. If you all want the SKU number, just message me after the show and I'll give it to you. Um, but it'll have to be a little while because I have to pick my son up. <laughs> after the show. But anyway, um, so I thought that was really fun. If you leave the piece in there, okay, the amper sign, then it's going to come out looking like this. I went ahead and removed it and then you'll get your little viewfinders like this. I hope you guys can see these. I know it's hard to tell, but I'm going to go ahead and color these in too because I want them to look Super shabby. Probably using linen cardstock was not a good idea. I should have just used regular cardstock to do this. Oh well. I will do my best here. I might just have to leave them gray. Anytime you use linen cardstock, um, it takes a little longer for it to soak up all the color because of the divots in it. 
but you know, we're going to make it work. Probably your chalk ink is going to work a lot better, which would be this little baby right here. Or you could paint them. You could do that too. Linen cardstock is definitely strong enough to do that. Okay, All right. I still feel like it needs to be darker. I'm sorry, guys. You're like, stop fussing with it. Oh, seriously. Hey, Monica. Let's try this one. Oh, yeah. Like, the definitely the chalk ink works so much easier. And it probably helps that the pad is right here. Nice. So now we know, guys. Now we know. Okay. Yep. That's definitely a huge difference. See, you can still see little spots. You can barely see the color. Okay, we're going to do one more. We're going to do it my, let's see if this one works better than the Prima. Oh yeah, okay, so this one works really good. Simon says stamp. That was crazy, that was a crazy phone call. Some company from Israel sent you an envelope and UPS wanted it. What? That is crazy. Girl, was somebody trying to scam you? Sounds like the people on, um, I don't know what you want to call it. What's that? Oh, Craigslist. That they'll try to send you a, a check for way more than what your product is. And then they want you to go cash it and send them the remaining amount of money. And then you find out that the check is bogus. Yeah. My friend had that happen to her. I told her, I was like, girl, I don't think so. I wouldn't trust it. Yeah, I like the pink. Oh, you told him to send it back? I would too. I was like, oh, heck no. Okay, guys, I know I'm taking forever doing this, but I should have done these ahead of time. We'll leave the other two gray. This will be my last one. Okay. So pretty. Love these. Okay. Let me get this out of the way. All right. Okay, I think I pretty much, oh wait, no, I lied. I'm gonna do a couple more things here and then we'll be ready. This is just out of my stash right here, this little butterfly and this chip. I don't even know where this came from, okay? I don't know. <laughs> but I had it in my stash and I thought I love butterflies. So I'm gonna go ahead and color this the brown. And I might add a little pink in here too. I really think it's better to paint chipboard but you really need to, um, when you do paint chipboard, I'm going to be honest with you, you need to dry brush it on. Okay, so that means don't dip your brush in the water. Just put the paint on. 
here we go. So we lightened up that chipboard a little. And then we have our little dream catcher. Yeah, I love chipboard shapes. I love anything that's chipboard. Although I prefer them to be uh, painted already. <laughs> but at least this way I can choose what I want. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna Okay. I think we're ready to get rolling. Okay, so with my extra paper, oh, you also get these seam binding ribbons here and then this gorgeous lace. So you're gonna see what I'm gonna do with that in just a minute. I'm gonna steal our Chana's idea that she gave on her video. I'm gonna show that to you in a minute. Let's get this out of the way. I went ahead and pre-cut some little frames, okay. And this die cut was from Bow Bunny. I don't know if they still exist, but it was probably like a hello die cut or something. I don't know. But you have your ampersand. I call it the and sign. <laughs> I don't, who came up with the word ampersand for the and sign? I mean, you know, come on, just saying. Let's go ahead and get going here. It's time to decorate this baby. So I'm going to start with this first on the outside. I'm going to get out my scissors. Hi, Keith. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Let me see here. Now I know that this is not going to go around exactly. So I'm going to just trim, trim a little bit of this off and then save this little flower for something else maybe a different page okay and cut off these little ends here now so i don't have to do it later okay so i can save that and then i'm going to go ahead and continue on here okay so what I'm thinking is, is I can do that right about there. Okay. And just keep going around. I don't want to cover up too much of my loveliness here. So I might just do it right there and here. In fact, I'm almost thinking, okay guys, let me get, get me, give me your honest opinion. Should I just do it on this corner and leave this open? I'm thinking yes. What do y'all think? It's okay, Keith. Okay, cool. So I think somebody agrees with me. So I'm gonna get out my glue gun, okay? And I'm just gonna go on some of these big pieces here, all right? You don't need to get crazy with a glue gun, all right? Okay. And be careful not to burn myself again, like I always do. Oops. These laces are gorgeous. Now, I could put this lace underneath here, you know, the other piece, and then do flowers on top, but then I feel like I'm just basically covering up over the lace. Sorry, I've got glue on my finger and it's 
burning me. Okay, so I think I'm gonna grab some of my foliage. Okay, here we go. Sorry, just grabbing my little clippers here. All right. And what I love about the wire in here is that I can basically mold it to what I want. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of glue here and there. Ah. Sorry guys, you know I burn myself again. Always entertaining. I'm gonna have to grab my little spatula. Okay. For the rest, just keep adding glue here. Okay, one more. Use flat iron hand gloves? Oh, I didn't even know. I, I hadn't even heard of those. I definitely will try that. Thank you, Archana. I had no idea they even existed. Okay. I don't want to cover up my clock too much, so maybe I'll just go around this now. I got to keep with my flow here. Okay, can have it. Let's do that. Okay. Oh my goodness. Here we go. This little baby works pretty good. Although it lets you have like a gazillion strings. Maybe not. Okay. Thinking that's looking pretty good so far. I'm going to use this little twine, but I need to cut it down. And we'll cut it down some more. These are really pretty. Okay, now I have to decide which flowers I'm going to put on in here. I think that'll go there. Let's get out some of these too. Maybe we could have this here. I think maybe this might go back here. I don't know yet, guys. Not so sure about that flat one. Maybe. Let me see. I think I'm going to stick with these like this. Yeah, I don't want to go too crazy because, you know, then I can't see what's going on. Hi, Sherry. Mm. 
Okay. And I almost feel like I should stick with another rose somewhere in here. Or, meh. Stick this baby in there. I love these leaves. Because to me, they look like a true green leaf. You know how you see some leaves that don't look like leaves that you would find on a plant? <laughs> Just keeping that out there. It's the truth, guys. It's the truth. They're always trying to give us bogus looking stuff. I don't want to cover up my clock. I don't know but I feel like I should have that there. So we'll go ahead and put it down. I really wanna cover up over my flower, but I'm gonna do it. I mean, my feathers. Wow, that's looking pretty good so far. Okay. Now at this point, if you wanna add a photo to this, you're gonna to wanna to do it but I am not. This is going to be the back side, okay? But I want to make sure that I attach this right. I want to kind of hold this in place. Oops, got lots of glue string, sorry. And I'm going to flip this over. Now, what am I going to put in here? Let me see. You got to add your sprinkles. You're going to do that now. Hold on, guys. Let me see if I like this confetti first before I commit to it. I had some and I don't know what I did with all my confetti. Oh, okay, this will work. Hold on. I lied. Let's try. I found some of this one. Okay. We could use this. Oops, and I already fallen out. So that's perfect. Just go ahead and dump that in there. Okay. Let me see if there's anything else I want to use in there. Hold on, guys. I apologize. I had another one. That was gold right on my desk. Oh, here it is. Okay. Just gonna use a little bit of that. Love how sticky those are, right? <laughs> okay, so now we have that on there. Maybe, I don't know, should I add a little more color to this? Let me see, I'm just gonna hold this. Oh boy. It's too late for me to do it now, guys, but I warn you, there's some stuff that will get rid of your static super fast. Where is it? I should have used this first, but I really didn't think it was going to be too staticky. This is called Nouveau Plastic Clean and Shine. 
anti-fog, anti-static, dust repellent. If you spray a little bit of this on a cloth and then let it dry, like wipe it down and let it dry, nothing's gonna stick to it, but it's too late because I already put it on there. So, oh well, it is what it is. But hopefully it'll eventually go down. So now at this point, I can go ahead and use my glue here. There's my little powder. Oh, yes. <laughs> I do. Or I, I'm lucky. This was actually from the Prima Christmas collection. So that was nice. Okay. I am going to wipe some of this off because I don't want my stuff sticking to it. All right. Make sure I have this lined up before I commit. Let me flip it over. Yep, that looks good. Now I can go ahead and commit to it and burnish it in. Here we go. We make sure there's no holes, which I'm obviously not working fast enough <laughs> for the glue. Okay, there we go. What is the spray called? It is called Nuvo Plastic Clean and Shine. They sell this at any boat or auto shop. So you should be able to find that. If not, if you can only buy online, you can probably find it there too. but that really helps. Okay, so now I can go ahead and attach my other piece on top of here, all right? And I probably could have used the design on the back, but I didn't want to, so. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this on here all the way. Hey, Tiffany, you want your lunch, girl? Okay, just line this in here. Here we go. And then burnish it in. Okay. And you can use that Nouveau spray on um, your acrylic, um, you know, the thin acrylic sheets that people sell. You can definitely use it on that and it really helps. I just wish I had thought of that before I attached, before I put my sprinkles in there. That would have been a smart idea. <laughs> Hi, Heather. Okay. So I'm thinking what I'm probably going to do is put a photo here. And I really love these little circle dies. Oops. Debbie's back. I'm just going to put this here. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and put some, I do want this in the corner. And I'm gonna put the little ampersand on here. Oops. Thought about just kind of I don't know, I kinda I don't know if I want it up here. 
Nah. We'll do it over here. Just barely touching the edge. Then we think we'll do some of these gardenias. Hi, Cheryl. Oh my goodness, I keep dropping my glue gun. I'm gonna ruin my carpet. <laughs> okay. Some one reason it doesn't want to stay on the stand today. Okay. Now it's probably too late for me to move this. Nope. I still can make it. We definitely move it over a little more. Yeah, I like that idea. And I think I'll have one of these little babies over here. What is that little piece of paper? That's weird. Okay. I think we'll move that down a little bit. There we go. Maybe do another leaf. Or yeah, that looks pretty good. So has anybody in this group got some uh, snow? I missed the comments earlier. I apologize. So now I'm going to pay attention. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie. Okay, so I'm going to finish with this one. I'm going to move on to the next. Let me see how bad my stuff is sticking. See, guys, if you don't use that stuff, it's going to stick. Hopefully it'll calm down later. We'll see. But it's super cute. Okay. And then we're going to move on to our next piece. And I have some spray is spelled N-O-V-U-S. Plastic clean and shine. And this one says number one. I don't know if there's many more than one, two or three. I don't know. But I hope that helps. Okay, let me see what we've got going on here. Let me move this out of the way real quick. This frame is two and a quarter by two and a quarter. Okay, so that's easy. I'm going to get out some scrap paper. Hopefully, is that two and a quarter? Ooh, nice. It is. Uh -huh. I love it when my scrap paper works. Some of my friends from one of the crops I go to, they, they think it's hilarious that I save every scrap. I've been getting better. I've really been trying to get rid of it, but it's hard. It's hard. I think I may have to round my edges. It started snow. Oh, yeah, that's right. You did tell me that. Okay. Now, I'm barely going to put any glue down here because I don't have my photo in here yet. So, I want to leave room, okay, for the photo. I 
I hope that makes sense. You try that again. Okay. No, it's too, it's not going to do it. I'm going to have to do it from the top. Oh, it's kind of poo poo. That's okay. We'll make it work, guys. I can slide my photo in from the side. It's probably better this way anyway. There we go. That's a little better. Okay. So I can have one here. You know, I just realized something. I think I might need to do a little bit more. Because I want to be able to see. Yeah. Follow you to Texas. <laughs> Girl, I just left there. No, I do need to go back and visit soon. Okay. Yeah, I kind of like that a little bit better. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this one. Let me see if I did that right. and a quarter by three inches. And just round my corners. And I think this time I'm going to use this one. And again, I'm going to do it where I can load it at the top. I mean, at the side. There we go. I'm thinking I'm liking that. You should put a little of the lace over here. Oh my. Okay. One more little dollop here. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Heather. <laughs> How about I laugh? I thought I was pretty boring on my videos. I try to be anyway. My first ones for when I very first started, my kids would always interrupt and now I just do this when they're at school. Oh, did I have a planner mini? I don't even remember that. That's crazy. Let me see here. Ah. Okay, now once I have my photos in, I can go ahead and permanently put these down. Use my lovely little zig pen for that. See what we have here, what we can do. Faith. 
Do you do face over here? Maybe right there. I think I'm just going to leave it the natural wood color. Thank you, Archana. It's, it is not hard to make something. What the heck? Um, look good with this paper. Anything will look good with this paper. <laughs> you could totally mess it up and it would look gorgeous. And the paper alone just speaks for itself. I think I'll just do, let me see. Should we do? Maybe a little white flower down here. Oh my goodness, y'all hear that? That's my glue gun again, hello. It keeps acting crazy. I'm move this closer. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, it was Debbie's. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking we'll stick with now. There we go. Like that one. Just have a lace peeking out underneath. And you know what I totally forgot to put on the front of my other piece? Hold on one second, guys. I want to put capture the moment here. Hello? This is what it's all about. I'm thinking definitely. And I'm going to put this on pretty heavy because I'm putting it on top of the lace. And I want to make sure it's not going to come off. Thank goodness the stuff dries clear. Okay. There, now I'm just going to set that aside again and let it dry. I really like that. I think. Hold on guys, there's something else I might have that might look good. I know I have it guys. You think I'm crazy, but I do. I like a gazillion charms. Maybe like a dragonfly? What do y'all think? I think I'm gonna stick with it. Let me take this little piece off here and I'm gonna use my glue. Nothing like having fun and getting super scrappy with what I call sort of like junk journals. And that's what chipboard albums remind me of a little bit is of junk journals and you can pretty much go crazy with them. And I bet even after this live show, I'm gonna do more because <laughs> that's what I did with a wardrobe kit. So if y'all saw my live show from the wardrobe kit a couple weeks ago, um, if you see my video, I show all the finished pictures of it. I really kind of went cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Okay, let's see what we're gonna do here. So we're gonna make some frames. And we have our cut up parts. What did I do with those? Oh, they're right here, duh. I really like these. But I wanna, Maybe we could have like a bingo card peeking out. 
Aw, thank you, Debbie. So I'm going to use this. This is from Prima. It's just a little distressing tool. Reminds me of like a foot thing in a jiggy. I don't know what you want to call it. But I think I'm going to put this one back here. But before I commit, I'm not going to commit to anything yet because I get crazy like that. <laughs> okay. Let me get out my trimmer. I'm going to trim these down. Oh man, I want to make sure there's one that I don't put. I love all of these. This is going to be hard. Okay, I think I'm going to use that one. Okay, see, I love the typewriter. Oh gosh, guys, this is hard. Okay, I think I'll use, i use these two because I really love this little postal mailbox. That's adorable, just saying. So I'm going to trim this up here. Uh, no, never mind. I'm just going to use my scissors and fussy cut. And I'm just going to lay the photos right on top. Because your little selfie photos should fit perfectly in here. It's hard to cut up any of this paper. I'm, I'm serious. I'm sure our channel will put the links below in the comments for this kit. Oh, no way. Are you serious? They know who I am? <laughs> That's awesome. That's crazy. I, I don't know if that happens, but my, my daughter at school, they, they just tell people that I'm a YouTuber. They don't say that I'm a, a crafty YouTuber. So I don't know. You know, I'm not worried about it, but. I don't know, maybe I should just do, maybe we'll do this kind of like that. I think I'm gonna do the green over here, this over here. And I feel like because I distress the edge of this, I need to do that with these, but I really don't. I need to stop, stop being <laughs> anal retentive. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pop these up a little bit just to make them stand out. Thank you, Archana. See how hard it is to lose this design? Thank goodness you get two sheets, just saying, just saying. Oh my gosh, guys, is it already 12.52? You gotta be kidding me. Time has just gone by so fast. Holy cow. I may not be able to finish this, guys, because I gotta get in line to go pick up my son, but I will be here on for just a little bit. You missed the front, Monica? Here, let me show you. So everything is from the kit, except for my little glitter right here, my little insert glitter, and this little charm of mine okay but everything else is from the kit isn't this awesome love it okay i'm gonna go ahead and glue this down though i have my little pin i keep forgetting to put that in there but don't worry guys i'm gonna continue to do this on a, a youtube video if I have to go, which I know I will. So I apologize for that. I didn't know I was going to take so long. I'm being a slow poke today. Okay. I'm going to just put this at an angle. Maybe I'm going to put it up just a little higher. Brush it in. And I'm going to 
me do this one first. I don't want to misjudge. Thank you, Tam. Thank you, Monica. Yesterday, I was 10 minutes late picking him up and he thought I died. <laughs> He's like, Mom, I thought you died or got in a car accident. And I was like, that's a little dramatic, okay? Calm down, calm down. He freaks out. He's such a mama's boy, but I love him. Okay. Put that down there. And then I have this whole little spot. To do some more flowers. And some lace. And you know what I love about Archana's kits? Say you don't use it all in one kit, okay? Then you can just carry your stuff on to the next one. So, you know, anything that matches, you can just carry it on over and it's going to work. I'm thinking, I don't know. Do I like that better? I don't know. Should I do that back here? I don't know. Maybe so. Yes, she did, Monica. She sure did. It is in the kit. So if you don't have any adhesive, you can definitely find it in the kit. Tap, tap, tap. Okay. <laughs> you know I'm afraid to burn my fingers. I'm such a scaredy kit. I'm chicken. Okay, so this time... I don't know, did I go a little crazy there? No. Yes. Yeah, I like that there. Let's see. Do we want that there? No. Maybe down there. I like that. Another little leaf. Oh my gosh, stop it, Kim. Okay, you guys, uh, I almost went crazy right there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, time to get serious. Oh, and we have our little, that's really cute. Let me see. Right there. No, can't really see it there. All right, hold on, guys. Let's see what we're going to do down here. That's too big. I have another one of these. Nope. How about giggle, guys? Yeah, I like that. Hey, Monica, can you make some of these like this in chipboard or wood? I love these. I just like this script writing. I don't even know what it is. Whatever font this is, I love it. Oh, the arrow. Yes, yes. Should I use it like here? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, I think so. Thank you, Monica. Girl, let me know when you get them ready, okay? Because, uh, yeah, I need some. I need to buy some. And even these little arrows, they're cute, too. Okay, so we're done with this page. I love that. I don't know. I'm almost deciding. I really need to save stuff for another page, right? Because <laughs> I could use everything all on one page. I really could. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to tuck this, glue that down just a smidge. 
Oh, you do? Yay! I'm so excited. That'll be perfect. Hold on, I'm almost debating. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put this little leaf here just to kind of round out my corners here. There we go. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. I think we got time for one more page and then the rest I will do on video for y'all. Look at this one. This page is gorgeous. This is going to be so hard to cover this up. I'm just going to be honest with you right now. It is, but we're going to do it. So I'm thinking, I haven't even used any of my cut cards yet. Oh, goodness. Let me see here. Oh. Hold on, guys. I'm thinking I have an idea. All right. I'm going to get some of this natural color paper. Let me see how many inches this is. This is three and a half by two and a half, okay. We're gonna do two and a half long. Y'all are like, what are you making? You're crazy. Yes, I am. <laughs> okay, three and a half. page really quick because I love adding in extra ways to put put in photos okay and this is how I'm going to do this okay I'm going to get some of my twine here let me get out I think I'm just going to do one piece of the twine and I'm going to get some double sided sticky tape. I'm going to put it across the back. And just kind of approximately get in the center. I'm also going to use a little bit of my glue gun. Nothing too crazy. And I'm going to center this, okay? And then I'm going to glue this down. Guys, you gotta remind me to put my pen in there. What time do I have to pick them up? I usually leave now. <laughs> I'm gonna be a little bit late. <laughs> but I always get there early, so that's why I'm not worried about it. It's okay. We can stay on for a few more minutes. I'm gonna put this over here a little, and let me center it. There we go. And burnish that in. And then now I have a cute little spot to put photos in. I'm 
but I do want to paper this little spot here. So let's see what I've got. Any of these could work sideways? Let's see. Probably not. Let's see what else we have. Nope. I got some scrap paper. This will work. I said three and a half. I two and a half. Distress my edges. Did I do that right? Yeah. So now I can add in a few more photos right there. I love sneaking in little spots in these uh, chipboard albums. exactly want it like that but let me tie this on here there we go glue this little baby on here and if you were crazy enough you probably could put some itty bitty photos in these or you could do letters. So let's say you had some of those Tim Holtz bingo pieces. You could put in love, L-O-V-E. That would be cute. Burnish that in there. Okay. Thank you. I think I'm going to do, I don't know. I might actually do that idea. Let me see here. I think I might use a little white flower. Hi, Maritza. I just like to fluff them up a little. Okay, because I'm going to go ahead and do exactly that. I'm going to find some of my little buttons that have letters on them. I'm sorry, I didn't mean bingo pieces. What I meant is typewriter <laughs> pieces. That's what I mean. So I'll put love there. Let me see. Oh no, I want to do, if I put that there, it's not going to, I think I'm just going to leave that one there without any foliage. Maybe I have some smaller leaves in my stash. But anyway, guys, I'm going to finish this on YouTube video for you guys, and we'll just continue from that point on. But I got to go get my son. Thank you guys so much for hanging in there. It's been almost two hours. Almost two hours, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Do not forget to check out Capture the Moment Kit on www.craftycity.com. Thank you so much, Archana. I love, love, love this kit. It is amazeballs. I cannot wait to finish. And hopefully I can put some photos in there too so y'all can see them with photos.